Hey there, my name is Paige Taylor and I'm from Level Up Yoga. Today I'm going to be taking you through a gentle lunar practice uh, that will leave you feeling calm, grounded and open. So whenever you're ready you can roll out your mat and I'll meet you on the floor. Finding a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. Maybe sitting on your shins, maybe sitting cross-legged, maybe sitting on a cushion. And then whenever you're ready, you can start to close down your eyes. And just start to become aware of your breath your own natural rhythm. Noticing each inhale. And each exhale. Noticing the state of your breath right now. Maybe it feels deep. Or maybe it feels shallow. Just allowing it to be whatever it is right now. Just start to become aware of the spaces in between each breath. The space where the inhale meets the exhale. And the space where the exhale meets the inhale. Becoming aware of this brief moment of stillness, of softness, of surrender. Now I invite you to begin to deepen your breath. It doesn't have to be for a specific count or length. Just allow your breath to naturally begin to deepen. Allowing each breath to be a little deeper than the one that came before. And again, noticing your inhale. And your exhale. Notice how it feels to reside in the spaces in between each breath. Notice what this deepened breath has done to the spaces. Maybe the spaces have naturally begun to lengthen as well. Maybe it feels more natural to rest your awareness there now. Maybe it feels more difficult. Just allow yourself to experience whatever you're experiencing as it is without any judgment. And 
throughout our practice today, I invite you to use your breath as your anchor. Whenever your mind begins to wander, allow your awareness to come back to your breath. From here we'll move into our first shape, which will be child's pose. And so bringing your shins to the floor, and taking your knees as wide as the mat, big toes to touch, and just allow your body to begin to fall down to the earth. Maybe resting your forehead on your mat. Just allowing yourself to ground here. Letting go of every moment that led you to this one. Allowing yourself to fully arrive in this space. Letting go of anything that isn't this moment. And be here now. Slowly begin to walk your hands over to the left hand side. Maybe they come off your mat. Creating this deep lateral stretch in your right side body. And as you inhale, feel the space your body creates here. And as you exhale, allow your body to melt into this space. Slowly begin to walk your hands back through center. And this time, walking your hands over to the right. Creating a deep lateral stretch in your left side body. And as you inhale, feel the expansion of your left rib cage. And as you exhale, feel it contract. back through center and shifting up onto your hands and your knees and your knees come underneath your hips hands underneath your shoulders and firmly planting your left hand into the mat inhale as you reach your right fingertips up to the ceiling and as you exhale, begin to thread your right arm underneath your left. The back of your right shoulder finds the mat. Your left arm either comes out in front to support you, or maybe rests on your low back. And as you inhale, feel the breath expand the back of your right shoulder. And as you exhale, allow yourself to twist a little deeper. And slowly bringing your left arm back underneath your shoulder. Lifting yourself up, supporting you as you inhale, right fingertips back to the ceiling. Exhale, planting your right hand on the mat. 
And firmly planting the right hand. This time we'll inhale, lifting our left fingertips up to the ceiling. And as we exhale, begin to thread your left arm underneath your right. Back of the left shoulder finds the earth. Your right hand can, can come either in front to support you or rest on your low back. As you inhale, feel the space this breath creates. And as you exhale, see if you can twist a little deeper. Slowly bringing your right hand back underneath your shoulder. Supporting yourself as you inhale, lifting your left fingertips back up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, left hand plants on the mat. And from here, we're going to take an inhale as our belly drops, chest shines forward. And as we exhale, slowly begin to round out through your spine, shifting your weight back into child's pose. Inhale, shift your weight forward, belly drops as we look up. And as we exhale, tucking our chin to our chest, rounding back into child's pose. Inhale, forward, arching through the spine. And exhale, rounding into child's pose. Inhale forward, chest shines forward as we look up. And exhale, sucking everything in as we rest back into child's pose. And taking a few moments here. Slowly as you inhale, begin to lift yourself into a seat. Spine long as our fingertips reach to the ceiling. And as you exhale, begin to fold back into child's pose. Inhale, stacking the vertebra on your spine as you sit up. Fingertips reach up. And as you exhale, folding back into child's pose. Inhale. Sitting up. Reaching up. And exhale, folding, melting. Child's pose. Inhale, slowly rising up. Growing tall as we reach up. And exhale, softening back to the mat. And we'll stay here for three breaths. Slowly starting to shift back into tabletop. Our hands stack underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hips. And from here, you're going to step your right foot forward in between your hands. And coming into this low lunge shape. And 
start to shift your weight forward as you open into the front of your left hip. Slowly beginning to heel and toe your right foot out to the right side of your mat. And starting to flex through your right toes, bracing through the ankle as your right knee begins to drop out to the side. Your left hand is firmly planted into the mat as your right arm reaches forwards, up and back. Shining your chest to the ceiling. And keep flexing through the toes to brace the ankle as our knee continues to fall to the right. And spreading your right fingertips out as wide as you can, reaching back. We'll stay for two more breaths. Slowly bringing your right hand back to the mat and your right knee back in as you heel and toe your right foot back in between your palms. And then slowly stepping your right knee back into tabletop and sitting back into child's pose. Inhale as you come back up to tabletop and stay for the exhale and slowly begin to draw your left knee into your chest as you step your left foot in between your hands. Maybe you slide your right knee slightly back. Setting up for this low lunge shape. Begin to shift your weight forward as you open into the front of your right hip. And slowly begin to heel and toe your left foot to the left side of your mat. Your left hand comes to the inside of your left foot. And from here, begin to brace through the ankle by flexing the left toes up to the sky. As your left knee begins to fall out to the side. Your right hand is firmly planted into the earth as you lift your left hand forward, up and then back. Shining your chest to the ceiling. Left knee continues to fall out. Left fingertips spread wide. We'll stay for two more breaths. And slowly begin to bring your left hand back to the mat. Beginning to draw your left knee back in. Heel and towing your left foot in between your hands. And taking an inhale here. And as you exhale, stepping your left foot back, sitting back into child's pose. Inhale as you shift your weight back to tabletop. 
Stay for the exhale. Inhale, drawing your right knee into your chest. Stepping your right foot in between your hands. Take an inhale as you shift your weight forward. And stay for the exhale. And once you feel stable through your legs, allow yourself to inhale and rise up. Fingertips reach for the sky. And as you exhale, drop your elbows as your chest shines forward. Inhale, reaching your hands back up. And exhale, elbows drop. Heart opens. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, elbows drop. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, heart opens. Either staying here with your arms in cactus or maybe interlacing your hands behind your low back. If your hands are interlaced, reach your fingertips for the mat, allowing your chest to lift. Your chin stays tucked. And keep bending through your right knee. We'll stay for three breaths. Slowly release your hands. Inhale, reach your hands up. And exhale, framing your right foot. Staying for the inhale. And exhaling back into tabletop. Sitting back into child's pose. Take an inhale as you shift your weight forward from tabletop. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, drawing your left knee to your chest as you step your left foot in between your hands. Inhale as you shift your weight forward. Stay for the exhale. When you feel stable, inhale, straight spine as your fingertips reach up. And as you exhale, elbows drop, chest shines forward. Inhale, fingertips reach up. Exhale, elbows drop, heart shines forward. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, heart opens. Inhale, reaching up, growing tall. And exhale, elbows drop. Leading with the heart. And either staying here or interlacing your fingers behind your back. Drawing your fingers to the earth if they're interlaced. Allowing your chest to shine forward, your chin stays tucked. And still bending into the left knee. We'll stay for three more breaths. your hand, inhaling your fingertips up, and exhale, framing your left foot, inhaling in your low lunge, and exhaling back to tabletop, 
Sitting back into child's pose. Maybe taking your knees as wide as the mat again. Big toes to touch. Allowing your forehead to plug into the earth. And just taking this time to rest, to slow down, and to become still. From here, just slowly beginning to make your way onto your back. And drawing your knees into your chest. And giving them a gentle squeeze. And allowing them to fall over to your right side. Maybe your left arm extends out, looking over your left shoulder. And allowing this twisting shape to Begin to integrate the physical postures we have practiced today. These gentle heart openers. Grounding folds. Allow your body to know that it is safe to move in these ways. Slowly drawing your knees back into center. And then allowing them to fall to your left side. And your right arm extends as maybe you look over your right shoulder. And allowing this shape to Begin to integrate all the feelings we have cultivated in our practice today. And these feelings of slowness, calmness, groundedness, and openness. Allowing these feelings to integrate into our being. Know that it is safe to reside in these states of awareness. It's safe to feel these feelings. And slowly beginning to draw your knees back into center giving them one final squeeze before extending your legs out into your Shavasana. Your final rest. Allow this to be the passing of your practice. Letting go of anything that arose for you today. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you. And softening and melting back 
to the earth. Slowly start to come back. Come back to this space. Come back to your breath. And come back to your body. Wriggling your fingers, your toes. Feeling the physical sensations once again within your body. Tucking yourself up into a ball on your right hand side. Maybe resting your head on your right arm. Taking a moment to feel gratitude. Gratitude for your practice. Gratitude for your body allows you to practice in the way you do. And gratitude for every moment that led you to this one. And slowly you can make your way up into a comfortable seat. Whatever that might look like for you. And just allow your spine to be long. Crown of your head reaching to the ceiling. And just bring your awareness back to your breath. your own natural rhythm 
Noticing each part of your breath. Inhale, the space. Exhale, space. Resting in the spaces in between each breath. There's a brief moment of stillness, softness, surrender in your ever changing, ever moving cycle of your breath. Know that this state of awareness is available to you in every moment, anywhere. All you have to do is slow down, turn inward and come back to your breath. Bring your hearts to your hands to heart center. Acknowledging this space within you, a space of pure love, pure light, pure awareness. Acknowledging that this space not only resides within you, but within all beings everywhere. Bringing your thumbs to your third eye, resting in between your eyebrows. Allowing you to see and understand the love and the truth in every moment. Thumbs to your lips. Allowing you to speak and hear the truth and the love in every moment. And hands back to heart center. Allowing you to live from this space of pure love, pure truth, pure light in every moment. Bowing your head to your heart, allowing your heart to lead the way. Namaste. So thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. If you liked it, if you found it helpful, if you found it calming, I invite you to share it to anyone that you think may benefit from this practice. And thank you so much again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Okay, so I'm going to do the intro again and we'll just say which one's better. <laughs>